Double trouble. Okay, firstly, I know we're on a budget, but fairy lights are just gonna help this matter. Oh no. Green again. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. And of course, if you are new, I'm Rebecca. Welcome to my channel. So we are gonna be doing spinning the wheel to decide my bill. Now this is one of Little Simsy's challenges and I love this challenge so much. So basically the spinning wheel decides the start of the bill, how much money the build is gonna be, how many Sims live there, the colors, the inside special rooms, the outside rooms, like literally decides absolutely everything. So without further ado, let's get into the Sims ball, the spinning wheel, decides my build challenge. So the first spinning wheel of the day we are going to spin is of course our money spinning wheel. We're going to see how much we can spend on this build for inside and outside. Spin, 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 spin. Spin 75k. That is actually quite a good budget to have, so I'm kind of relieved. So this one is kind of vital because this is how many sims that we have to build for, and that determines on how many bedrooms we have to make, and you know, all the budget comes into this one. So let's spin the wheel and see how many sims that are gonna be living here. This part honestly makes me so nervous. Two sims. Now that is a lot better because last time, you know, I got my cat to decide my build, and he decided I think it was like six or seven sims. So we've got 75k for our budget and we are building for two sims but now I want to know what kind of style of the build I'm going to be making. The spinning wheel has literally decided absolutely everything and it's decided industrial. Okay I've never built an industrial build in my life. I love this style but I just... I don't know where to start. Okay, we'll go into Evergreen Harbour for this. Oh, so to move into our household, I have found this very cute family. It's literally just called Single Parent and it's a mum and her daughter. And originally I wanted to do, you know, a single parent with their child. So we're gonna grab them two up. They're so cute. We all moved in. I've just changed my money to 75K and it doesn't hurt as much as the kind of budgets that we've had before. And then there is a few more spinning wheels that we're gonna spin. Industrial, industrial. For me, I'm thinking maybe it's gonna be very brick like we're probably gonna use the mosquito kind of windows and we could add like a conservatory or even the roof could kind of be yeah like a glass roof we're definitely gonna have to include some ladders for this i think this is how big i actually want it to be and voila, this is the outcome of our build. I've never done industrial before, but do you know what? I really like it. It definitely sticks out compared to the other buildings. Yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed building this house. I think because you could literally just add anything to it when it comes to industrial. Got the open plan layout for the downstairs. So we're gonna put our kitchen on this side. We'll have our lounge here. And then I need to get a ladder because for upstairs, we have then made kind of like an open floor plan. So on this side, I'm gonna have it as a study. On this one side, we'll have one bedroom here. Cut this section off, or maybe we'll make it like a bathroom like this. And then somewhere along the lines, we're gonna have to put a ladder and I might put it up on that wall because then it's gonna lead up to here. The upstairs is gonna be our special room that the spinning wheel is gonna decide. But we do need, of course, a kid's room. So now we're gonna spin for the outside color of the build. I know I've already painted it. I just, I don't know, I got a little bit carried away. So let's go spin the wheel for the outside color. Okay, so now we're spinning for the outside color. We got purple. Oh no, purple. I feel like I'm gonna like ruin my house now. So we see if there's actually any purple brick. Oh no. The only purple brick is this. Oh, so we're gonna have to just go full on purple. I actually don't mind this piece of CC. It's kind of helped me because it's kind of kept kind of like the cool kind of industrial style that I'm trying to save. I don't know. I realise as well, we do have a toddler here, not a child. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and age up the toddler and just have a children's bedroom because, you know, I did put in a basketball court and I expect them to use it. So we still have a few spinning wheels for the inside of the build and that will be for every room, whether it's gonna be a funky or not normal room then of course we'll spin the wheel for what color the walls and floors will be in every room but this is our special room so we're going to spin the wheel and see what we're going to get for this room so we could have a music room we could have a bar we could have a library we could have a gym you know it's all down to the spinning wheel today the spinning wheel chooses everything right so today our special room is going to be a craft studio so we know we got a craft studio which i'm really excited now but now i'm going to spin the wheel for our wall color and we have got 
yellow. And now I'm gonna spin the wheel for our floor color, which we got white. Oh, do you know what? I'm actually gonna see if we've got any brick yellow walls. That would be kind of funky. Although it kind of makes it look kind of castly. Maybe we could go for something like this and then the floors are white. So that's not actually too bad. I think I'm gonna go for this kind of flooring because we kind of got this industrial kind of style. Craft wise, we'll probably do eco lifestyle kind of craft. We can get like some candle making going on there. A little woodworking bench that could go on so literally all the crafts going on in here because i was thinking about doing knitting and then i was like nah let's just go for like full-on woodworking and candle craft and in kids as well they have like this funky station here this cc has honestly been so amazing it's helped me out with so many different challenges let's put down a bin as well to put all of our rubbish in and then i just added a few more clutter items so we've got some woodworking bits and bobs going on there then a few candle making and then of course you know our kid then gets involved with other sciencey projects so let's head all the way downstairs because we are now going to start off in our kitchen. So is this going to be a funky or normal room? So it's going to be funky crazy. All right, let's go and see the colours now. So our wall colour is going to be white. We're doing really well at the moment. So white and then our floor colour is going to be green. White walls and I've gone into brick and I'm very pleased. Can you tell? Because there is actually some brick. Flooring is green now how are we gonna make this tasteful i'm not actually mad about this green flooring i think it's actually quite subtle we're gonna go in and get my favorite stove and my favorite fridge and i'm gonna choose it in lovely red even parenthood will do these counters are definitely gonna go well because they're definitely like industrial kind of style so we'll add these here yes items like this are definitely so funky we can add that in and then what else oh maybe we're gonna need some pots and pans at some point so we can grab that too and i think i actually saw yes a really funky like this table in this swatch is very funky and then for the chairs as well maybe we need to go kind of vibrant on the chair there we go a nice orange color because we do want this part of the house to be kind of funky and then there's a little rug underneath and then this completes our little kitchen area a very tiny kind of like dining room area i love it and our little entrance way with our yoda so let's go into our lounge and let's spin for our walls and our floors and of course to see if it's crazy or normal for our walls we have got orange and then for our flooring we have got gray and is this gonna be funky or normal it's gonna be normal baby it's gonna be normal oh okay so maybe for this we can have these in here or, or even something like this oh i don't know what it is but it's just very industrial i'm loving it i'm absolutely loving it i've splashed out on this little bit of tv and this bookshelf i think i'm gonna make it very kind of like posh kind of very minimalistic in here oh but this one's sticking out for me it's very like extra but like very like clean and simple this build literally does not have hardly any plants. By now, I literally have like 10 million plants everywhere. But, you know, not so much. <laughs> but I am going to add one. I've added this lovely little bookshelf over there as well. And then lastly, let's grab in a rug. And I kind of want like a statement rug. This baby definitely sticks out. This is very, very cool. And then I think I'm done with our living room here. I think it's very minimalistic. So now let's head on to the upstairs because we've got our stuff we've got our bathroom here we've got our other bedroom and then we've also got another bedroom upstairs i think i'm gonna go into my study so is our study gonna be normal or is it gonna be funky it's gonna be funky and for our walls we have got blue okay blue and then for our flooring oh no we have got blue oh no double blue how am i gonna make this look nice like blue is a nice color but double of something is always you know double trouble all right, maybe we could go for this kind of eco lifestyle. Oh, this flooring could work. This could definitely work. And maybe we could lead this off into the hallway that leads into the bathroom because, of course, the bedroom will be separate. Then get famous because I want to get like the kind of like the YouTube kind of desk area going on here. here we go. We'll give them like a nice purpley chair. I think I've winched it up quite far up to the corner that they could actually get there. And then a few more gadgety bits. And also, we need to add lots of color to this room. Room. I've gone ahead and added this very cool mirror there and then this side we kind of need like a bookshelf I think I'm just gonna drag this wallpaper all the way across
across on this side. Good old mosquito bookshelf. And I'm just going to wedge it up so they have enough room to walk around there. I think I'm actually quite obsessed with zebra print today because we've got zebra downstairs and now we've got zebra here. I just think it's like really cool and funky. More of these kind of like lighting, LED lightings. These are really cool. And then a massive thing here. I think we're going to have to go into Strangerville for this part. Like for starters, this is definitely welcome. Oh, we've got a lovely little lava lamp. Where actually should we put our lava lamp? Maybe we can size it down and pop it in there. And then this is our study finally finished. I think I'm happy with it. Definitely funky enough. We've got the bathroom to do and then a bedroom. So perhaps let's spin the wheel for our walls and our floors for our next bedroom. And this is going to be for our adults. So for the walls, we have got grey. Grey is just, I don't know, grey and pink flooring and our room is gonna be normal go for this for this flooring and then we need gray for our walls gray 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 i'm seeing maybe we can just get brick for gray we can but it's a little bit dull so our bed's down and i took a few garage doors from the outside because i just think they're so nice and they look really nice in bedrooms so we've got a garage door there a few very nice strangerville funky lightings Let's maybe get in some of the basics, which is definitely, you know, a dresser in there. And I'm thinking kind of like this mosquito dresser, like literally mosquito stuff is perfect. And I was just thinking since they do kind of do YouTube, maybe we could move this light and put this shelving there because it's got like a bunch of like different kind of like camera equipment. I could definitely see this mom doing YouTube, like maybe like different hair tutorials. Maybe she does her hair like 20 times a week because right now it's a pretty cool ombre color. For a long time, I was thinking about dyeing my hair like ombres. I've been kind of like colorful hairstyles before but maybe only like ombre on the edge of my hair but you know i've got a few colorful wigs that maybe i could pull out because i'm too scared to actually go ahead and dye it of course we're gonna use these two cases as our side table i mean who wouldn't and i think i'm gonna leave that for our adult bedroom this is our mum's room and she is pretty funky i'm liking her style i don't know if this is functional I'm gonna try it when our sims are ready to move in. But for now, let's just see what we've got. We've got a little bit of brick going on through there. But let's spin and see what color and walls we're gonna get. And of course, whether it's gonna be funky or normal. So is this gonna be a funky or normal bathroom? So we've got normal. So for our walls, we have got red. Oh, we have not had red yet. So red for our walls and our flooring is green. Green again. When we got green for downstairs full of flooring, there wasn't many options for it at all that's why i'm not really there for it <laughs> but i put it down i might actually do this funky kind of flooring i just go full on brick in here rather than tile i think that'd be quite nice for a bathroom just full on brick doesn't really go quite nice with the green we've actually only got 3531 and we still have a kids room to do uh and kids can be expensive so i'm hoping we can just get like a toilet in and a shower maybe this shower i don't want to spend too much <laughs> Because the kids room is next. And then maybe this. This actually might be quite nice. Where would we put... Well, we could put our toilet here. And then we could put our sink on this side. I'm going to go ahead and put like a full wall of mirror. I'm going to leave our bathroom like this. Because we've literally got 1,600. And it's not you know, a lot of money. So this is kind of like the basics of what we've got in there. We've got our sink, we've got our shower and our toilets because now we're heading on upstairs, which is our last room, which is our kids' room. And I just know it's going to cost us a lot. Funky or normal for our kids' room? Funky. Our kids' room wall colour is going to be orange, okay? And then the flooring is going to be pink. Oh, okay. Which again, I'm going to go on for this brick. And then the flooring, oh my gosh, we got pink for our flooring, which is very blinding and we've had a lot of like different colors today i think it may be even just like if we could have maybe oh carpet that's good work go for something like this maybe we'll save our money undo that and put this down here oh <laughs> it's so blinding okay firstly i know we're on a budget but fairy lights are just gonna help this matter we had a toddler but i said that i'm gonna age them up to a kid because i prefer to do like a kid's room so i'm gonna add this into the kid's room Oh, we need a dresser as well. I don't think I'm going to have enough money for the kids' room. Maybe tidy living. They can still use tidy living as a dresser. I'm hoping I can afford that one. No. Insufficient funds. No. Oh, here we go. We can use this. It's so big though, isn't it? Oh, well. Maybe, in fact, I could get rid of that. Like 200 and something simoleons back. We kind of had like some homework bits here. I was hoping to kind of like 
make it look a little bit pretty. Maybe we can kind of put this on this side. We've got 237. Maybe a rug. We've got toys in there. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a rug, like a really funky one. Very happy that I could afford this rug. Oh, look, here we go. Some butterflies. That definitely makes things a lot better. We've got some butterflies. And then the whole category of this, I cannot afford. It might just have to be like some wall art. See if I can get anything for 12 simoleons. Because then that is all our money gone. I was actually thinking about deleting something in the house. But I'm pretty happy with it. Because then, guys, we are down to seven simoleons. And this is the end result of our house build. Like, I hope you guys enjoyed this challenge. I love doing the spinning wheel challenge. Make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.